that you say, let's, listen, I left a church because the pastor said, it's okay to practice Halloween. We should all practice Halloween and not hide in our houses. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? All these churches, I don't care how well the pastor preaches. When you say, when you have trunk or treat and these things in your church and you endorse Halloween, the highest holy day of Satan worship, and you say, oh, Satan's not going to bother me. You are already deceived. Who has bewitched you? Satan has already put blinders on you because people like me and countless other people who have been delivered from satanic, satanic, demonic strongholds. You are opened up to judgment from God. And this is a warning. Now, I am shutting up my car. And we're going to go and I'm going to show you right now exactly what is happening. And what people are so attracted to. Because because I, I, I need for, for you guys to share this video. And we're going to go in and see what Halloween is all about because you cannot separate you can you can't separate this kind of stuff do you understand I mean evil is evil so we already talked about what it was I want you guys to share this video and we're gonna go in there and I'm gonna show you exactly what this all is all about okay I want you guys to share this video I want people to see what this is all about and I'm gonna do it nicely so I don't get kicked out so this is where I'm at okay we're going in okay so this is where I'm at a lot of Christians go here um, so we're at the spirit of Halloween store we're getting ready to walk in please share this video everybody needs to see this and then I'm going to show you exactly what's um, going on inside Okay. Here we go. And here we go. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. And this is what Halloween represents. Okay. This is the demons that Jesus died to set you free from that torment people. They torment them. I was tormented by these spirits. Yes. This is just demonic. Is there anything godly about this? That you're teaching your children to trunk or treat, trick or treat. Is there anything godly about this? Tell me. Tell me, this is what Jesus died to set you free from. Murder, evil, witchcraft. Do you understand? Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm taking you around to show you. This is Satan's kingdom. Okay? This is Satan's kingdom. And this is entertainment? Look at this. Really? This is Satan's kingdom. This is what you guys have on your houses. This is what you guys, this is what Halloween is. Death, evil, demonic, witchcraft, dragons, dragons. Satan is called the great dragon. Listen to me. Listen to me. Be set free. Repent of this. Repent of this in Jesus' name. Repent of this. There's more. Come on. Death. Death. Jesus set us free. He took the keys of hell, death, and the grave. Look at this. Jankalanchers. Look at this. This is what it's all about. Halloween. Look at this. Look at this. Death. Evil. Scarecrows. You know, there's a fascination with scarecrows, too. Okay. So I'm taking you in the store. I'm showing you what this is all about. Is there, look at this. Oh, look at this nice little princess. Really? Come on. This is all demonic. This is the same thing. This celebrates evil. Come on, you guys. Come on. This is all innocent looking. Look how Satan disguises innocence. Oh, look at the little princess. 
Okay, I'm showing you all this stuff now. There's witches. Oh, look at this. I'm showing you for real. This is demonic, you guys. Look at how innocent that looks. Pastors, parents, look at this. How innocent Satan disguises himself. Look how innocent this stuff is. Oh, look at the little cheerleader. Look at the Miss Reaper. Come on. The devil disguises himself. Look at all those kids. Look at this. One after another after another indoctrinating our children for evil, demonic, to be used by the devil. We are indoctrinating them. The parents and the pastors are lost. It's time to repent for the church to get right with God. The church is dead. God is no longer moving. It's Ichabod. The glory of the Lord has departed. Look at this. Oh, look how innocent that is. Oh, come on. Look how innocent. Dress up your kids so that you can ward away evil spirits so that the demons will think that they, they won't bother the, the people that are dressed up. This is all tradition, okay? This is all mythical. There's more and more. This I mean, this is a $16 billion industry. $16 billion. Oh, look. All your churches. Oh, look how they're dressed up like a little cowboys in your churches and they come in share this video you guys everybody needs to see this come on this is all the same spirits this is all the same look at these come on look at this this is all the same demonic spirits there is nothing innocent about halloween this is all demonic satan is in the churches he's in the homes he's in the neighborhoods Demons are being released everywhere at this time. Do you understand? Those that are spiritual understand. There are some that God is convicting right now as we're watching this. They are being convicted by the Holy Spirit. This is death. How do you get entertained by death and skulls? Skulls represent death. How do you get entertained by this if you're a Christian? How? Look at this. How? How does this happen? How does this happen? Come on, pastors. Come on, preachers. Come on, people in the church. How? How do you get entertained? How? Look at this. Look at this, how demonic it is. Jesus died to set you free from Satan's power, but yet we are being entertained by it. Look at this. This is not entertainment. This is Satan. Look at this. How do, you, how do we as Christians allow abominations in our church? How do we train little children to dress up so innocently to say trick or treat and get candy? It's the same thing as the world is doing. There's nothing different. How? How do we do this? How do we do this? Come on. Come on. How do we do this? I want you guys to see this. This is the real stuff of Halloween in your church. Come on, pastors, you are indoctrinating your children. You, you're telling your, the kids in, you're telling the kids in um, the church, you're, you're, you are um, fashioning them for the world. You are getting them ready to celebrate Halloween for the world. You're saying, it's okay. You can dress up innocent and still practice trick-or-treating. That's like saying, oh, you can practice seances in the church, and it's okay, or Ouija boards in the church, but we're just not doing it in the world. We're just doing it in the church and out of the trunk. Look at this. This is what you're indoctrinating the children, pastors, parents. It's time to repent and get right with God. It's time Jesus is coming, and this world is getting more evil and more evil. See these? See these spirits right here? See these spirits? Spirits used to visit me when I was little, two and three at a time, just like this. And they came as angels of light, but they're demons, you understand? People get visited by demons. This is what they are. Okay, I'm done. I want you guys to share this video everywhere, and I'm about to walk out of the store, but there's nothing godly about Halloween. It is Satan's biggest, it's Satan's biggest day for worship in the year, okay? The biggest one. Look at that. 
jack-o'-lanterns. Come on, you guys. Let's cut up those jack-o'-lanterns and put them all over the place. No. This is evil. Jack-o'-lanterns are even evil. This is out of the, the, the druid worship. Come on. Druid worship. Demonic. Okay, it's time to go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now. I can't get out of here fast enough. Okay, you guys. I have made myself very clear. I have made myself very clear. I want you guys to share this video. We have lost the fear of the Lord. We no longer fear Him. Do you understand? We no longer fear God. We, he that's a friend of the world is an enemy of God. We no longer fear the judgments of God. We think that God is okay with whatever we do because we're Christians and, and he's not okay with whatever we do. We have to do what God tells us to do, not to learn the abominations of the other nations. He said, if you do that, he said, there's judgment coming. There is judgment. Do you understand? Judgment is here. And this is, sorry, I'm moving around a little bit, but the judgment of God is on the church, on the parents, on families. In families, there's so much judgment. There's, there's uh, people that are killing themselves. There are people that are committing suicide. Why? Because they open themselves up to witchcraft, like Halloween. There's people that are on opiate addiction. Why? Because witchcraft, witchcraft. Pharmacia. It's all a part of Halloween too. Okay? People are opening themselves up. And there's so much mental issues. M Come on, you guys. Wake up. There are mental issues in families. There are health issues. Because people are opening themselves up to demon powers. <laughs> demon powers. Halloween is demonic powers. Leviticus 19.31, do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26, I will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spiritists to prostitute themselves by following them. I will cut them off from their people. Okay, but you can practice Halloween and get away with it? No pastors you are indoctrinating the children trunk or treat trick or treat going around candies decorating the the trunks of your car and dressing them up as halloween stuff come on wake up wake up 